Do you ever wonder what laundry detergent your mom or grandma might have used in the 1950s, 60s, or 70s? You might remember those familiar scents and brightly colored boxes that were once a household staple, but over the years, many of those products have disappeared from store shelves. Today, we're taking a trip down memory lane and revisiting discontinued laundry detergents that baby boomers remember from their childhood. Let's start with a classic. Rinso was one of the earliest powdered detergents, trusted in American households since the 1910s, but it really became a staple in the 1950s. The catchy slogan, Rinso White, Rinso Bright, was plastered everywhere, promising brilliantly white clothes. Mothers loved it for its affordability and its results. What really gave Rinso its edge in the 1950s, though, was its marketing. Rinso partnered with popular radio and TV shows D show to promote the product. Those early soap operas? Yep, they got the name Soap because of sponsors like Rinso. But by the mid-1960s, Rinso started to fade. Newer detergents like Tide offered more cleaning power and Rinso simply couldn't compete. By 1970, Rinso disappeared from U.S. stores, though it continues to live on in some international markets. Cheer, another household name, had its shining moment in the 1950s with its unique selling point. Blue Magic. It wasn't just a detergent, it was also a color brightener. Cheer came with these little blue specks that promised to keep colors vibrant and prevent clothes from looking dull or dingy. Cheers ad campaigns were everywhere, on billboards, TV, and even in magazines, showing off the bright clothes you'd get from using it. But as the 1980s rolled around, Cheers started losing ground to competitors who also began offering detergents that protected colors. While you might still find Cheer on a shelf today, it's far from the household staple it was in the 50s and 60s. Who could forget does detergent? If you grew up in the 1950s or 60s, you might remember your mom being excited not just for the detergent, but for what was inside the box. Does was famous for including freebies like dishes or towels in its packages, making it feel like you were getting something extra for your money. Their promotional campaigns were clever too. Does even got featured on popular TV shows like Queen for a Day and The Price is Right. But by the late 1970s, the novelty wore off. Production costs were rising and more consumers were looking for performance in a detergent, not just the free stuff inside. Does quietly vanished from store shelves. Oxidol is one that has a special place in baby boomers' hearts. This detergent, launched in the 1920s, was beloved for its powerful, soapy formula. When Oxidol promised deep cleaning, it delivered. It was particularly good at getting out tough stains, which made it a favorite for moms with young kids. One thing that helped Oxidol stay in people's minds was its sponsorship of the long-running radio and TV soap opera Ma Perkins. Imagine listening to your favorite show while doing laundry, and every episode was brought to you by Oxidol. By the 1980s, though, its parent company Procter & Gamble shifted focus to newer products like Tide, and Oxidol became more of a niche product, fading out of the spotlight. If you were a kid in the 1960s, you probably saw the bold, simple box of Dash detergent in your laundry room. Dash was all about simplicity and reliability. It was designed to be a no-fuss, heavy-duty detergent that just got the job done. Dash's advertising campaign reflected this with the slogan, Don't just wash it, dash it. It was quick, memorable, and easy to connect with. But while Dash was functional, it wasn't exactly revolutionary. As brands like Tide and Cheer innovated and improved their formulas, Dash just couldn't keep up. By the mid-1970s, it was pulled from the market. Fab detergent was a favorite for those who wanted their laundry to smell amazing. 
Fab came out in the 1950s and really made its mark with its promise of leaving clothes not just clean but smelling incredibly fresh. It had this floral fragrance that housewives loved and its commercials often showed families taking a deep breath of their freshly laundered clothes with big smiles on their faces. But as time went on, Fab's popularity started to dwindle. More and more brands began offering scented options, but with better stain-removing power. Fab still exists in some capacity today, but its golden years were definitely in the 50s and 60s. Cold Power was a game-changer when it launched in the 1960s. Unlike most detergents that required hot water to be effective, Cold Power promised to clean your clothes in cold water, saving you money on your utility bills. At the time, this was a big deal, and the detergent quickly gained popularity. Cold Power appealed to the growing number of energy-conscious consumers in the 60s and 70s. However, as other detergents began to match its cold water capabilities, Cold Power's unique selling point wasn't so unique anymore. By the late 1970s, it faded from the market in many regions. Bonus detergent was a real hit in the 1960s. What made it stand out? It didn't just clean your clothes. It also came with a built-in fabric softener. For busy moms who didn't want to juggle multiple products, Bonus seemed like a lifesaver. It promised soft, clean clothes in one go. Their TV commercials were memorable, with moms bragging about how soft their laundry felt, thanks to Bonus. But as the laundry detergent market became more crowded with newer products offering similar benefits, Bonus started to fall behind. By the late 1970s, it was discontinued. Salvo was different from everything else on this list because it didn't come in powder or liquid form. It came as a tablet. Launched in the 1960s, Salvo was designed to be a no-mess, no-fuss option. Just pop a tablet into your washing machine and you're good to go. No scooping or pouring needed. It seemed like a great idea at first, modern and convenient. But unfortunately, Salvo didn't dissolve very well in the wash, leading to complaints from consumers about residue on their clothes. By the early 1970s, Salvo was discontinued. Finally, let's talk about White King soap. White King had been around since the late 1800s and was a versatile product that many families swore by. You could use White King for everything, laundry, dishes, floors, you name it. In a time when people didn't want to spend on multiple cleaning products, White King was the answer. Its ads played heavily on this versatility, showing it as a budget-friendly option for the thrifty homemaker. But as specialized products became more popular and more effective, White King couldn't keep up. It was phased out in the 1970s, bringing an end to a product that had been around for nearly a century. So, there you have it. A look back at the detergents that once lined laundry rooms across America. Whether it was a free dish set from Does or the fresh scent of Fab, these products were more than just soap. They were part of the daily rhythm of life for families during the 1950s, 60s, and 70s. Do you remember any of these from your childhood? Maybe the smell of cheer or the sight of Oxidol reminds you of your mother's laundry routine. It's funny how a simple product like laundry detergent can evoke such strong memories, isn't it? As always, thank you for watching. See you on the next one.